everyone. This is Kavita. Welcome back to my channel KSG Learning Time. Today we are going to learn NCERT 10th grade first lesson poem that is Dust of Snow. Dust of Snow is a beautiful short poem written by Robert Frost. This poem tells that even a simple movement has a large significance. The poet has mentioned crow and hemlock tree in this poem. Crow signifies his depressive and sorrowful mood whereas hemlock tree is a poisonous tree. Let's commence to read and understand the poem. The way a crow shook down on me, the dust of snow from a hemlock tree. Hemlock, a poisonous tree with small white flowers. Poem is set in a scene where the poet is in a bad mood and is walking by a tree, a hemlock tree, which is poisonous tree. As he passes by, a crow happens to throw some snow dust on him. But here we are unknown. It is not shown in the poem whether it has fallen on shoulder or head of the poet. And what was the crow's particular action when the dust fallen on poet? Whether crow was landing or taking off. But the scene has thrown poet into sadness. As we have seen in the first stanza, that poet was already sad and the scene made him more unhappy. So let's see what happens in the next stanza has given my heart a change of mood and saved some part of a day I had rude. Rude means wasted or held in regret. Even though Port was unhappy for unknown reason, the falling of the snow on him lifted or changed his mood instantly. He had already wasted his day in bad mood, but the rest of the day saved by crow and hemlock tree. Generally, hemlock tree and crow are used for negative references, but Port beautifully used it to show that small things can bring joy and happiness to our life. अगर हिंदी में यहाँ पे समझा जाए तो कवि यहाँ पे कहना चाहते हैं कि खराब मूड से लेकर अस्वस्थता तक ऐसा कुछ भी नहीं है जिसे ठीक नहीं किया जा सकता है जब एक कौवे की हरकत ने उस पर बर्फ गिरा दी तो उसका मूड और खराब हो गया बर्फ का उस पर गिरना तुरंत उसे घर खुश कर देता है मतलब जिंदगी में कितना भी दुख हो लेकिन अगर एक छोटी सी हरकत आपको खुश कर देती है तो वो बहुत ही बढ़िया है लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड सम ऑफ द पोएटिक डिवाइसेस एंड राइमिंग स्कीम ऑफ द पोम राइमिंग स्कीम दैट इज ए बी ए बी हाउ इट इज ए बी ए बी लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड हियर यू विन सी अल्टरनेटिव लाइन लास्ट वर्ड्स आर राइमिंग विथ ईच आदर सपोज क्रो स्नो मी थ्री हियर हार्ट पार्ट मूड रू दैट इज वर्ड हियर इज ए बी ए बी A B A B rhyming scheme. Now let's understand some of the major poetic devices. Symbolism. The crow and hemlock tree symbolizes the emotions like dejection, gloom, and depression. And here we knew very well use of symbols to signify ideas by giving them symbolic meaning that is different from their literal meaning. Now next one is alliteration. Alliteration is the occurrence of the same sound that is used in the beginning of the closely placed words. Now here two words are closely placed, saved and summed. Its beginning letter S S so with same sound. So we can say here is alliteration. One more example we will see has given my heart in this line has starting with H heart which is starting with H and it has same sound and it is placed on the same line means it is also placed closely. So we can say this is also the example of alliteration. Thanks for watching and joining in. If you like these videos, don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel.